an angle is formed by two rays with the same end point here we have a ray here point a is called as end point of a ray now we will take one more point on this ray say it is b now it is a ray it is a ray ab right so here point a is called as end point of a ray ab it is also be called as origin of a ray it is also be called as fixed point of a ray so what is the point a here it is end point of ray ab now here we have another ray with the same origin with the same end point that is a now we will take one more point on this ray say it is c so it is angle b a c an angle is represented by the symbol it is a symbol this is symbol of an angle if you want to represent angle you have to use this symbol we can name the angle as bac angle bac or angle cab the short name of the angle is angle a make a note if the angle is forming at point a right at the common end point right so when you name the angle you should see that letter a should be between the remaining two letters that is angle b a c or you can say angle c a b and the short name is angle a angles are measured in degrees by using protractor parts of an angle here we have angle bac the first part is arms or sides of an angle the two rays joining to form an angle are called arms of an angle look at over here look at this figure here we have ray ab and here we have another ray ac right ray ab ray ac those two rays are called as arms of an angle or sides of an angle so here ab and ac are the two arms of an angle bac here we have the second part vertex vertex of an angle the common end point of both the rays is called the vertex look at this figure here point a is end point of ray ab and point a is also end point of ray ac and this common end point same end point that is a is known as vertex of angle bac so the point a is the vertex of angle bac interior and exterior of an angle here we have an angle bac points in the interior of an angle look at in this figure the blue shaded part this blue shaded part represent interior part of an angle bac now here we have point x in the interior of angle bac here we have another point y in the interior of angle bac here we have point z in the interior of angle bac 
so points x y z are in the interior of an angle points in the exterior of an angle look at that here the yellow shaded part represent exterior part of an angle you can see point p is in the exterior of an angle point q is in the exterior part of an angle point r is also in the exterior part of an angle so you can say that points p q r are in the exterior part of an angle points on the angle look at over here point l and point m are on the angle on the angle means they are on the arms of the angle point l and point m are on the arms of an angle so point l point m point a point b and point c are on the side of an angle or you can say they are on the angle so points a b c l and m are on the arms of a, an angle thank you